So it's something that seems a little mean or it can feel like a little bit harsh when you're talking to, you know, a client or working with a customer or something like that, that whole, the customer is always right perspective. So people putting like standards and limitations on their services or what they will or won't do with customers and clients, is just like getting more and more difficult. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about is like, should you set standards when it comes to your client clients and your customers? So let's jump into it. So one of the things I think that is like hard to do for some people, and I get why it's like setting standards when it comes to the clients, because we've heard for so long, like the customer's always right. You want to do whatever to make the customer happy. But just frankly, like, I don't believe in that at all. I don't think that you should make the customer mad. And it's just like the whole no soup for you, like off Seinfeld. But I think that, you know, it's cool to say no and it still is going to result in sometimes a positive experience and it's not necessarily saying no it's just simply putting limitations on what you can or cannot to do what you will or would not, will not do what you are or are not able to help them with and that if that poses a problem or something like that then you know they may have to seek service elsewhere or whatever and then even with just setting standards on what certain things are acceptable from like customers and clients. How much does you, do you as the entrepreneur have to really deal with? And you know, like when is it okay to say no? And again, it comes from like that whole thing I think where it's just like hard to say no and no being viewed as like a negative answer. And I think that that's like, that's the wrong approach because no is a complete answer. And you do not have to accept, you know, these things where people are just like throwing stuff at you. You got to do this and you got to do that. And you don't have to do that. Like you don't have to subject yourself, subject your company to, let's say, the harsh criticisms or like the poor treatment of certain customers. One of the things I think that is super beneficial when you listen to like the audio book or you listen to the regular book is the book called Book Yourself Solid. I think that this book is super important because one of the principles that he talks about in there is about like the velvet rope, like that line. If you ever see uh, movies or TV shows or even like been at certain events and stuff like that, like they have like the general interest and, and then they have like the part that's roped off with the red velvet rope. And what that does is to signify and to say everybody is not allowed beyond this point. Only certain people are allowed access beyond this red velvet rope. And you have to do the same thing in your business. And I 100% agree with that because if you don't, then people will try to run all over you and they'll say that you have to do this. And I was speaking with the creator recently and just even like a friend on stuff that was going on with the entrepreneur, just saying like, Hey, we need you to do this or stay up late and, and, you know, keep doing that and work for us. And like, no, this isn't right. And da 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 like all these problems. And then the person did it and they went ahead and even though they were upset, they were angry, they went ahead and did it anyway. Now that's not to say you don't have to go over and above for, you know, customers or clients or maybe push deadlines and work late. That's not saying that, but I think if you have like, so, so for example, in, in my editing company, I have where you have three revisions, three revisions are available. It depends on what package that you have. Let's say you got three revisions that need to be changed. You say, Hey, I want this, this, and this change. You say, okay, make the changes. If it's something that, you know, you're saying you want it kind of like this or look like whatever, I'll take a screen capture of it. So I'm not using up one of their revisions and make sure that it's right. So that by the next time, like every revision is with the intent to have a finished product. And then they may come up with a whole new list of things that they want changed. Okay. That's revision number two, revision number three, whatever you have decided on by now, this is what is left. There is nothing else for you to be able to change. And they're like, I'm unfortunately, these are the three revisions that are available. Corrections like that's on me. I will do that and fix that. So that's fine. That's one of those areas where I think it's okay. But in the place to where they just say, well, Hey, you know, Hey, I know this would be like a fourth revision, but can we go ahead and do this? No, unfortunately, out of respect to me, my clients, my customers, other clients that I have, you know, I can't continue to dedicate additional time towards this. Cause you had to think how long 
a revision process could go through, giving them plenty of time to list all of the single changes that they want. Same thing within any other kind of business. You have to set set standards and limitations, and it's not so that you can serve your customer more poorly, but so that you can serve them better. And sometimes when it comes to like that red velvet rope rule, then you want to not even take certain customers and certain clients because they may not qualify to work with you because they honestly just may be too big of a headache that they want a bunch of stuff for free or little to no money and it just won't serve you in the end. It'll frustrate you because you're not getting paid or the value that you want and then they're just kind of like trying to use you. So that's my thoughts on that. Let me know what you think uh, down below, but that's what I'm gonna leave it for today. Oh, 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 oh,